presenting our colors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we start today's contest, we want to extend our heartfelt thanks to Graincraft Bar and Kitchen for their invaluable support of the Newark High School football team. Their generous provision to pre-game dinners has, been, has played a pivotal role in our team's success, ensuring our players are well-fueled and ready for the game. Craft, Rain Bar, and Kitchen. Commitment to our community exemplifies the spirit of teamwork, and we are truly grateful for their partnership. Thank you, Grain Craft Bar and Kitchen, for being a vital part of our Yellow Jacket High. In the kick for the Cougars, number three, Aiden Hill. Back deep for your Yellow Jackets, number one, Sean White, and number 11, Samir Coleman. for the ball, the kick going out of bounds is an illegal procedure penalty against the Cougars. And as the Yellow Jackets accept that penalty, they will begin first and ten at their own 35-yard line. Nikita Rogers on the carry is forced out of bounds by number seven, Amir Bombada, and number 52, Addison Ramsey. Pickup of five out for the 40 brings up a second and five for your Yellow Jackets. Rogers on the carry is shoved out of bounds across the 40 by number 54. 
So we are signaling, however, there is a flag on the play. A holding penalty against the Yellow Jackets are going to back them up 10 in this final foul. As a result, it will now be a second and 13 for the Yellow Jackets at their own 32. Rogers pass complete to number five, Jalen Serino. Ball does hit the ground, but Serino was able to jump on it. A pickup of six out to the 38. Brings up a third and seven for the Yellow Jackets. Nikitas Rogers on the carry gets back to the line of scrimmage and no more as he runs into that Bulldog with that Cougar front. No gain on the play. Met there by a number of Cougars, including number 54, Shalir Singleton. Brings up a fourth and seven at the 38. Yellow Jackets will send out the punt team on the snap number 50, Diego Diaz Vallejo. In the coming away is number 11, Samir Cole. Back to for the Cougars is number 11, Don Allen. Coleman's punt is going to be down by number 20, Trayvon Freeman. Near the previous line of scrimmage, that is not going to be, going to be a negative one-yard punt for Samir Coleman. And the Cougars will take over first and 10. Del Castle at the new arc, 37. One more pregame announcement, ladies and gentlemen. The leagues are changing, and you can too at Hawkinson Athletic Club. Whether you're training to maintain your health or rehabbing for your next football game, Hawk has the resources to make it happen. Speak with one of their 27 personal trainers and dietitians. Enjoy over 200 groups, taco fitness classes to choose from each week, and we're covering the sauna, deeper hot tub, or cold plus actually Yeah. 
One Sean White on the carry runs far side and is pushed out of bounds by a number of Cougars, including number three, Aiden Hill. Loss of one back to the Gretchen. No gain as he got back to the line of scrimmage. Brings up a second and ten for the Yellow Jacks. including number 79, Marie Price. Ball from the play of eight back to the 11. It's going to bring up a third and 18 for the Yellow Jackets. Tackled down at the 22. Number three, Aiden Hill, and number 11, Son Allen on the tackle. That gain is good for 11. It's going to bring up a correction gain of 10. It's good for fourth and eight for the Yellow Jackets, who will send out the punt team on the snap. Number 50, Diego Diaz Vallejo, and to kick it away is number 11, Samir Coleman. Back deep for the Cougars is number 11, Don Allen. Keon Black will down the punt at the 49 yard line. That punt of 27 yards pushes the Cougars back out there with field. And that's where it was done. First and Here's Barry. 
will be announced just after halftime. Previous pass is incomplete, and that's going to bring up a fourth down for the Cougars. Byron Reeves broke up that previous school pass. Jackets are going to give the Cougars a 3-5 as a result. It's now going to be a fourth and one for the Cougars. Aiden Hill on the carry, pushes the pile forward down to the 15, inside the 15 to the 14, and that's going to be good for a Cougar first down. First and 10, Dell Castle at the Newark 14. the goal line, but that is going to bring up another Cougar first down. First and goal, Del Castle at the Newark one. At the goal line, the number 15, Samir Rollins. The number 50, Diego Diaz Vallejo. No game. Second and goal for the Cougars. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cougars will lead the offense out and attempt a two-point conversion. And Ramirez Berry's conversion attempt falls just short. Tackled short of the goal line. No good. So with 2.51 remaining in the first quarter, Del Castle is out to a 6-0 lead. Ladies and gentlemen, the DIAA salutes its nearly 28,000 student athletes participating in 19 sports. We cheer for them in the game and in the classroom. And remember to set an example for those competing in today's event and show some respect for all those present for this event. DIAA reminds you to sport a winning attitude on the field and court and in the stands. Carry tripped up by number seven Amir Bombada and brought down by number two Marquez Langford. However, that's good for a five yard gain and a yellow jacket first down. First and ten, Newark at their own 48. Crosses the 45 
and brought down at the 43-yard line. Pickup of nine on the play. He's going to bring up a second and one for the object. A defensive pass interference penalty against the Cougars. It's going to give the Yellow Jackets 15 from the previous spot. And that's going to be good for a Newark first down. First and 10, Newark inside the Del Castle 30 at the 28. Rogers pass intended for number one. Sean White is in complete. Brings up a second and ten for the Ellis. Rogers on the carry, tackled by a number of the Cougars, including number two, Marquez Langford, and number five, William Teal. A pickup of five down to the 23 is going to bring up a third and five for the Yellow Jackets. Again, 
Ethics, integrity, and respect are important values in our daily lives. On the field, court and track, these values are translated into a display of sportsmanship. Sportsmanship is one of the strongest educational lessons and lifetime values taught by school activities. Remember, sportsmanship, it's how you play the game. A message from the Delaware Interscholastic Athletic Association and New York High School. Demas Rogers on the carry does not get the line the game. Pick up of one down to the 22 is all that the Yellow Jackets can muster, and that's going to be a turnover on down to give the ball back to the Cougars. First and 10, Del Castle at their own 22. After a gain of one after the 24 by number 20, Trayvon Freeman, second and nine for the Cougar.
team for the Yellow Jackets. Down inside the 20. However, there is a flag on the play. A holding penalty against the Yellow Jackets who negate that 12 yard run. That 10 yard penalty will now be a first and 20 for the Yellow Jackets back at the Del Castle 39. Rakibis Rogers crosses the 35 and is taken down at the 34 yard line. By number 54, Shalir Singleton. Gain of five on the play brings up a second and 15 for the Yellow Jackets. Almost to the 25 at the 26 yard line. A number of Cougars in on the play, including number five, William Peel, and number 11, Sion Allen. Brings up a third and six for the Yellow Jackets. Down inside the 20 before being brought down by number 60, 
Xavier Spicer and number 11, Zion Allen. However, that's going to be good for eight yards and a Yellow Jacket first down. First and 10, New York at the Dell Castle, 17. Lakeavis Rogers on the carry. Crosses the 10 down inside the 5. And that's going to be good for another Yellow Jacket first down. First and goal, New York. That's a Dell Castle of 4. Back on the previous play made by number 11, Zion Allen. And number 54, Shalir Singleton. up a loose football and is escorted out of bounds by a swarm of yellow jackets. 
Loss of only one on the play back to the 37. Brings up a second and 11 for the Cougars. Pass complete to number 10, Jaden Kale. And he's going to be down inside the Yellow Jacket 35 at the 34, which is good for a Del Castle first down. First and 10, Cougars at the Yellow Jacket 34. Carry picks up five inside the 30 down to the 29. Brings up second and five for the Cougars. Number 57, Johnson Cuffey, and number 54, Corian Wise on the stop. Pick up a four down the 25. Brings up a third and one for the Cougars. Number 50, Diego Diaz Vallejo on the tackle. Number 19, Ramir Berry on the carry. Pick up of two down to the stretch and pick up of three down to the 22. And that's going to be good for a Cougars first down. First and 10, Del Castle at the New Arch 22. Tackle on the play made by number one, Sean White. And number 57, Johnson Cuffey. Aiden Hill on the carry is forced out of bounds by number 20, Trayvon Freeman. A pickup of one down to the 21 brings up a second and nine for the, for the Cougars. by number 77, DeCorey Johnson, and number 57, Johnson Cuffey. A loss of four back to the 25. Brings up a third and 13 for the Cougars.
Right to that third down snap, a false start penalty against the Cougars will back them up five. As a result, it'll now be a third and 18 at the 30. Behind the line is third, number 33, Elijah Pearsall. Lost a one on the sack. He's going to bring up a fourth and 19 for the Cougars. Aiden Hill's pass is headed for number two, Marquez Langford. Oh, then complete. Number 10, Keon Black on the coverage. And that's going to be a turnover on down. Giving the ball back to your Yellow Jackets. First 10 to Newark at their own 31. Marquise Rogers pass intended for number seven, Byron Reeves is incomplete. A number of Cougars on the cover brings up a second and ten for the Yellow Jackets at their own 31. Davis Rogers on the carry, pushes the pile forward down to the 33-yard line, tackled there by a number of Cougars. We're going to have a timeout for Del Castle, their second charge timeout of the first half. With just under 43 seconds remaining in the first half, when we get back, it will be a third and nine for the Yellow Jackets. As they lead the visiting Cougars eight six. Thank you. 
Davis Rogers on the carry. Crosses the 40 down near the 41 before being tackled by number 11, Zion Allen. Prior to this fourth down snap, timeout, Del Castle. Third and final charge timeout of the first half. So with 33 seconds remaining in this first half, your Yellow Jackets have an 8-6 lead. Timeout, Newark, second charge timeout of the first half. Yellow Jackets sent out the punt team on a snap number 50, Diego Diaz Vallejo, and they kick it away. Number 11, Samir Coleman. Coleman's punt will go out of bounds at the 25 yard line, and that is where the Cougars will take over. A 34 yard punt will give the Cougars first and 10 at their own 25. Hill's pass intended for number seven, Amir Bombada, is incomplete. Brings up a second and ten for the Cougars with just under 20 seconds to go. Pass and tennis for number 10, Jaden Kale falls incomplete. Brings up third and 10 for the Cougars.
Number 19, Ramir Berry on the carry. And knocked down just across the 25 at the 26. And that will be the final play of the first half. As we head to halftime here at Brooks Simpson Field at Bob Hawkins Stadium, we have a tight one as your Yellow Jackets lead the visiting Cougars 8-6. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the south end zone and welcome to the field. The sound of the swarm, the pride of the hive, your Newark High School Yellow Jacket Marching Band. <laughs> Led by drum majors, Trooper Pathic and Mary Williams, guard captain Eve Billowitz, battery captains Colin Burnett and Jacob O'Neill, pit captain Jillian Page, flute leader Lilia Walther, clarinet leader James Fletcher, sax leaders Aaron Robel and Robert Walther, trumpet leader Owen Razor, and low brass leader Ryan Snyder. The tradition of raising stones with runic inscriptions first appeared in the 4th century, many being erected to mark territory, boast of remarkable achievements, and bring glory to dead kinsmen. However, not all stones are made the same. The stone before you was divine with magical elements, hidden away from man and preserved by the gods. The fire stone has astounding elemental powers that most cultures see as mythological. But those seeking the power the stone's power have tracked it down to this very field, unaware of the fire spirits guarding within. Will its power prove beneficial or destructive to humanity? Join us in welcoming the Newark High School Yellow Jacket Marching Band's production of Blaze. Thank <laughs> you. 
ladies and gentlemen, before we begin our homecoming festivities, please, one more round of applause for the New York High School Yellow Jacket Marching Band! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Newark High School's Homecoming Court Halftime Presentation. Please, I ask that you now draw your attention to the center of the field as the Newark High School Marching Band clears the way for our 2023-2024 Homecoming Court. First, we will have the freshman ninth grade Prince and Princess. The ninth grade class is represented by ninth grade princess Caitlin Anderson. And she'll be escorted by her prince, Jameer Matthews. Next, we have the 10th grade prince and princess. The sophomore class is represented by the 10th grade princess, Amada Lopez. Escorted by her prince, Matt Greer. Next, we have the junior prince and princess. The 11th grade class is represented by 11th grade princess, Sabine Breitenbach. And she is escorted by her prince, Jalen Watson. And now, introducing the 2023-2024 Senior Class Homecoming Court. The nominees for Queen are, first nominee, Emily Jufre, daughter of Michael Jufre. Today, Emily is escorted on the field by her father. Emily has been involved in the NHS, NHS ACE program and played on the field hockey team at Newark. Emily's favorite memory at Newark is scoring her first goal with her team. She plans to further her education at New York School of Interior Design. Ladies and gentlemen, first queen nominee, Emily Jufre. The next nominee is Kristen Gonzalez Rojas, daughter of Glendis Rojas and Yasmira Pena. She is escorted on the field by Rhiannon Kudara. <laughs> Kristen has been a member of the winter cheer team during her time here at Newark. Her favorite memory is attending junior prom, and she plans to attend college to become an architect. Ladies and gentlemen, Queen nominee, Kristen Gonzalez Rojas. Hey, Next, we have Yu Chai Lee. She's escorted on the field by her friends, Mary William and Krupak, Krupa Patek. Yuchan is involved in BPA, National Honor Society, Math League, DECA, ACE, TSA, HOSA, and a founding member of the United We Stand. She is a member of the marching band Color Guard. Yuchan's favorite memory was seeing many people represent their cultures during last year's International Day. She plans to attend her dream college after grade graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, Queen nominee, Yu Chan Lee. Our final nominee is Catherine Smith, daughter of Candace and Derek Smith. Catherine is escorted on the field by her parents and wants to say, happy birthday, mom. Catherine is a member of the New York High School marching band, choir, and theater. Her favorite memory was performing in the musical, Bring It On, with her best friends. Catherine plans to attend a performing arts college and major in musical theater. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our final Queen nominee, Katherine Smith. And now, our nominees for Homecoming King. The first King nominee is Christian Dukenberger. Son of Jared and Susan Dukenberger. He's escorted by Andrew Millen, coach of the Newark High School running program. Christian has participated in cross country and spring track for Newark and is captain of both teams. His favorite memory is going to Sky Zone after prom. Christian plans on attending the University of Delaware and majoring in engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, our first team nominee, Christian Gutenberger. Next team nominee is Nicholas Marino, son of Angela Baca. And he is escorted by Angela today. Nicholas has been a member of the Newark High School Marching Band and is the manager for girls' varsity volleyball. His favorite memory was being the lead role for the first time in the musical Bring It On. Nicholas plans to attend college and major in communications and media. Our next king nominee, Nicholas Marino. Coming down the field next is our King nominee, Owen Razor. Escorted on the field by his brother, Gavin, and sister, Brave. Owen has been a member of the National Honor Society, swim team, marching band, tennis team, and ace program at Newark. His favorite memory at Newark is goofing off with friends at football games. Owen plans to attend college and major in education while playing in the marching band. Ladies and gentlemen, King nominee, Owen Razor. Our final King nominee, Michael Watson. Michael is escorted on the field by his mother, Michelle Warren. His favorite memory at Newark is making friends. Michael plans to attend college and major in cybersecurity. Ladies and gentlemen, our final King nominee, Michael Watson. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to introduce Newark High School 2022 homecoming queen, Ella Truitt, who has returned for the homecoming game at Newark and will be coming our new homecoming king and queen. Ella is currently a freshman at the University of Delaware, majoring in psychology and is part of the club figure skating team. Now for the moment you have all been waiting for. It is time to crown York High School's homecoming king and queen. Your 2023-2024 homecoming king is Nicholas Brayden! <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, your 2023-2024 homecoming queen, Catherine Smith! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for your homecoming queen, Nick Marino, your homecoming queen, Catherine Smith! And a huge congratulations to the homecoming tour.
Ladies and gentlemen, there are countless benefits participating in high school sports and activities. The NFHS Play, Perform, Compete Together campaign highlights diverse stories and promotes participation in healthy lifestyles and athletic participation. Let's encourage safe competition in our education-based environment. Thank you. And kick off for your yellow jacket number 11, Samir Coleman. Back deep for Del Castle, number 11, Zion Allen. Number 19, Ramir Berry. Jaleel fell on the return, crosses the 50, and is finally forced down inside the Newark 45 at the 44. Warm there by the Yellow Jackets special teams coverage, but that is where Del Castle will take over first and 10 Cougars inside Yellow Jacket territory at the 44. Lemire Berry on the carry is met and driven back by number 57, Johnson Cuffey. Loss of six on the play back to midfield. Going to bring up a second and 16 for the Cougars. Yeah, you're 
He'll pass complete to number 11, Zion Allen, down at the 40 yard line, picking up for 10 yards. He's got to bring up a third and six for the Tigers. Allen, touchdown on play by number 10, Keon Black. In Mexico, we play with broken legs. Aiden Hill is hit behind the line of scrimmage, swarmed there by a number of Yellow Jackets. Including number 33, Elijah Parasol, number 57, Johnson Cuffey, and number 20, Trayvon Freeman. Loss of nearly 10 on the play back to midfield, and that's going to bring up a fourth and 16 for the Cougars. Right side of the field! Number 55, Michael Colson was the long snapper. Number 7, Amir Bombada's punt. He's out of bounds inside the Yellow Jacket, 20 at the 18. A 32-yard punt sets up the Yellow Jackets. You were 20, first and 10, you are at their own 18. You should have won that. I should have won. And you can vote anybody else. I call Miss Burke. Miss Burke. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please pull out your 50 50 tickets as we will announce the winner of our 50 50 drawing. Winner today will take home $68. I don't know what you're going to win. Nicholas has a lot of money. The team is Rogers, crossing the 40, 45 in the shot, out of hand by number three, Aiden Hill, up near midfield. A 32 yard run, and that's good for a big yellow jacket. First down, first to 10, New York, after two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your 50 50 ticket winner is 7 1 8. Five, five, nine. Once again, winning ticket number for the 50 50 drive. Seven, one, eight, five, five, nine. Please come up to the press box to claim your reward. Sean White on the carry, pushes the pile forward and is tackled down after a four yard gain at the 46. Tackle the play made by number five, William Teal. Second and six for the Yellow Jets. Number one, Sean White on the carry. Pushes the pile down near the 40, but it will be marked just shy at the 41. Tackle and play made by number 79, Lear Price. Brings up a third and one. Correction, the ball was re-spotted at the 40. That game of six is going to be good for a Yellow Jacket first down. First and ten, Newark at the 40. Nikivas Rogers on the carry, spins down to the 35. Tackle on the play made by number three, Aiden Hill, and number seven, Amir Bambana. Pick up a five, brings up a second and five for the Yellow Jack. Jade, 
Sean White on the carry. Tackle the play made by number 52, Addison Ramsey, and number five, William Teal. Pickup of one down to the 34 is going to bring up a third and four for the Yellow Jackets. Don't go! Don't go! Five, 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 <laughs> Your dad suspended me. Good Keevis Rogers on that carry. Tripped up by number 52, Addison Ramsey. However, that run is going to pick up six down to the 28, and it's good for a Yellow Jacket first down. First and 10, New York at the Del Castle, 28. And ladies and gentlemen, last call. Winning ticket 50 50 drawing for 718 559. Again, winning ticket is 718 559. Please come up and send your prize at the press box. <laughs> Previous plays being five yards to the Yellow Jackets, second and five to New York at the Dell Castle 23. John White will not escape the rush of the Cougars in the backfield as he is met and stopped back at the 27 yard line. A loss of four on the play is going to bring up a third and nine for the Yellow Jackets. Rogers on the carry is forced out of bounds by number three, Aiden Hill. He'll be marked out at the two, so a pickup from two brings up a second and goal from the Del Castle two. Okay. 
Send out the field goal unit to attempt the conversion on a snap number 10, Keon Black. On hold number two, Nikita Rogers. And Mia Cruz, field goal, catch this up and good. The conversion is done. So it's 4 27 remaining in the third quarter. Your Yellow Jackets now lead 15 6. After the conversion, a personal foul penalty against the Cougars. So Del Castro will take the ball at the 35 yard line. First and 10, Cougars at their own 35. And number 19, Ramir Berry is flattened in the backfield by number 50, Diego Diaz Vallejo. Loss of one on the play, back to the 34, second and 11 for the Cougars. Eighty 
Jude Hill's pass is intended for number six. Jaleel Fell is incomplete. Number one, Sean White on the coverage. Brings up third and 11 for the Cougars. At the 34. Hill's pass intended for number 11, Zion Allen, is incomplete. Number 10, Keon Black on the coverage brings up fourth and 11 for the Cougars. The Cougars are going to send out the punt team. In the set, number 55, Michael Colson, on to punt it away is number 7, Amir Bombana. Back to your Yellow Jackets, number 5, Jalen Serena. Jalen Serino makes a fair catch back at the 35 yard line, and that is where the Yellow Jackets will take over. First, Jason Luar at their own 35 yard line. Samir Coleman's able to avoid the tackle and start, but is then hit and dropped in the backfield. Met there by number 54, Shalir Singleton, and number 55, Michael Colton. A loss of three on the play, back to the 32, brings up a second and 13 for the Yellow Jackets. Nikivas Rogers on the carry is knocked out of bounds by number two, Marquez Langford. A pickup of six on the play out to the 38. Brings up a third and seven for the Yellow Jack. Rogers pass complete to number five, Jalen Serino. He crosses midfield and is going to be down at the 48, but that's going to be good for a yellow jacket first down. First and 10, you are at the Dell Castle 47. Rogers is pushed out of bounds at the 49 by number three, Aiden Hill. Loss of two on the play brings up a second and 12 for the Yellow Jack. This is like the YouTube. 
Samir Coleman is hit and dropped in the backfield by number 60, Severe Spicer. Loss of one back to the 49 is going to bring up a third and 14 for the Yellow Jackets. On the carry is forced out of bounds by number two, Marquez Langford at the 40 yard line. Pickup of 11 is going to bring up a fourth and three for the Yellow Jack. Zakivas Rogers on the carry, tripped up by number seven, Amir Bombada. But it's going to be a gain of four down to the 36, and that's going to be good for a Yellow Jacket. First down, Harrison Ted Newar at the Dow Castle, 36. That play will be the end of the third quarter. So as we head into the fourth quarter here at Butch Simpson Field at Bob Hoffman Stadium, your Yellow Jackets lead the visiting Cougars 15-6. Rogers on the carry, crosses the 45 and is marked down here the correction crosses the 35 and is marked down near the 33 yard line. Gate of three on the play brings up a second and seven for the yellow deck.
John White is going to be met in the backfield by a number of Cougars, including number five, William Teal, number 35, Yadiel Padilla Zeno, and number 54, Javier Singleton. Loss of three back to the original line of scrimmage brings up a third and ten for the Yellow Jackets at the Del Castle 36. Sean White runs into that Cougar front, gets a yard down to the 35, but that's going to bring up a fourth and nine for the Yellow Jackets. Falls incomplete. And that's going to be a turnover on down and hand ball back to the Cougars. First and 10, Zell Castle at their own 35. On the carry is tackled by number eight, Harden Brown. A pickup of two out to the 37 makes it second and eight for the Cougars. The 40 and is forced down by number 54, Torian Wise, and number 8, Harden Brown. Pick up on the play of six yards is going to bring up a third and three for the Cougars at the 43. Number six, Jalil fell on the carry. Pickup of two after the 45. He is swarmed by that big Newark defensive front. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth and a long one for the Cougars. Come on, Yellow Jacket faithful. Show them how, how this high for you. And he's stuck in the back here by number 72, Meyer Elliott. Turn over on down, Yellow Jacket football. First and 10, New Orleans. 
Jackets lead the visiting Cougars 15 6. Ladies and gentlemen, there are countless benefits to participating in high school sports and activities. The NFHS play and perform hey, compete you. together campaigns, highlights diverse stories, and promotes participation in a healthy lifestyle. Let's encourage safe competition in our education based environment. And the score of any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators are remembered. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Good sportsmanship shows how to play the game. A message from the Delaware Interscholastic Athletic Association. Fans are also reminded that the broadcast and streaming rights for DIAA live streams and events belong exclusively to the NFHS network. When games are produced, streaming and event is strictly prohibited. To watch live games, please visit nfhsnetwork.com. Me up. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Look at Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Oz. Get ready. Let me get a kick. Sean White on the carry is stopped by number 55, Michael Tolson. Loss of one back to the 45 brings up a second and 11 for the Yellow Jackets. Davis Rogers on the carry is brought down to the backfield by number 60, Severe Spicer. Loss of two back to the 47. Stretch and loss of one back to the 46. Brings up a third and 12 for the Yellow Jackets. Thank you. 
Sean White on the carry, gets the ball across the 45 down to the 41. Pick up on the play of five yards before being tackled by number 54. Shalir Singleton brings up fourth and seven for the Yellow Jackets, who will send out the punt team on a snap number 50, Diego Diaz Viejo. And in the kick it away is number 11, Samir Coleman. Back deep for the Cougars is number two, Marquez Langford. Bowman's punt is down by number 22, Andrew Ford at the 26-yard line, and that is where Del Castle will take over. First and 10 Cougars at their own 26. Sacked back inside the 25 by number 20, Trayvon Freeman. A loss on the play of three yards back to the 23 brings up a second and 13 for the Cougars. The carry is hit and dropped by number two, McKeevis Rogers. A pickup of nine, correction eight, out to the 32. He's going to bring up a third and four. Four and two. Bill Spass is up number two, Marquez Langford is broken up by number 10, Keon Black. That's going to bring up a fourth and four for the Cougars. Marquez Langford is broken up by number seven, Byron Reed. Turnover on down. The next thing get the ball back to New York. First and ten, New York at the Del Castle, 32. We'll send out the field goal unit. We've got the conversion on the second number 10. Dion Black in a hold number two. McKeevis Rogers on to attempt for a second conversion. Number 21 via crew. However, it's a direct snap to Samir Coleman. And he's in for a two point conversion. So with 3 23 remaining in the fourth quarter. 
Your yellow jackets now lead the visiting Cougars 23 6. And a kick for the Yellow Jackets, number 11, Samir Coley. Back deep for the Cougars, number 11, Zion Allen. And number 19, Lamir Berry. Initially met by number 20, Trayvon Freeman, and that is where Hellcastle will take over. First and 10 Cougars at their own 15. Number 19, Ramir Berry on the carry. Crosses the 25 and is tackled down at the 28 yard line. Pickup of 13 is going to be good for a Cougars first down. First and 10, down catch. Number 5, William Teal. There's going to be touched out in the backfield by number 57, John Tuffy. A loss of eight on the stretches. No, a loss of eight on the play back to the 20. Brings up a second and 18 for the Cougars. Ramir on the carry is hit and dropped in the backfield by number one, Sean White. Loss of two on the play brings up a third and 20 for the Cougars. William Teal's pass complete to number seven, Amir Bombada. Tackle on the play made by number seven, Byron Reeves. Good for a gain of eight out to the 26, and that's going to bring up a fourth and 12 for the Cougars. Number 
Yellow Jackets send out the field goal unit to attempt the conversion. On a snap, number 10, Keon Black in the hole. Number two, McKeevis Rogers. On to attempt the conversion is number 21, Mia Carew. at the 46 and there's going to be a flag on the play. After the return, a personal foul penalty against the Yellow Jackets are going to give the Cougars a free 15. As a result, it'll be Del Castle's football first and 10 at the New Art 40 yard line. William Teal is hit and dropped in the backfield. Sandwich back there by number 57, Jonathan Cuffey. And number 77, DeCorey Johnson. Yeah! Loss of two on the play brings up a second and 12 for the Cougars. William Teal on the carry is tripped up by number 57. Johnson Cuffey lost the run, but that's going to be the last play of your homecoming team. Your Yellow Jackets win homecoming 23-24.
Ladies and gentlemen, the DIAA and Newark High School have enjoyed having you at today's homecoming game, and we look forward to having you as our guests at future events. The next Yellow Jacket home game will be on Saturday, October 21st at 11 a.m. Please drive safe, and thank you for attending. On behalf of Principal Tina Pinkett, Athletic Director Jason Bedford, and the rest of the Newark High School Administration and Athletics team, good afternoon from Butch Simpson Field at Bob Hoffman Stadium.
he's on uh, Facebook. He's there as James Tate.